my name is James Hamilton and I am the drum coach here at Splash Productions in Johnston. I'm going to be taking you through some short lessons, whether you're a beginner, you've been playing for a while now, or whether you would consider yourself an expert, there's always something else that you can learn on the drums. Um, this is just to give you an idea of the sort of things you could learn if you come to Splash Productions for private drum tuition with me. So the first thing we're going to do today, guys, is I'm going to kick off with some beginner hints. For example, the very first thing you do when you pick up a drum set of drumsticks to play a drum kit, how to hold the drumsticks. Now, like a lot of things in drumming, there's no one exact correct way to hold drumsticks. You may have seen people holding them in a number of different ways. You may have seen this, um, someone holding a drumstick like this in their left hand when they play often in jazz or marching bands. This is called traditional grip, uh, but we're not gonna work on that today. Today, I am gonna focus on the most common way of holding it, which is called match grip. Match grip is when you hold each drumstick roughly the same way in your hands, and the way most people tend to do it is like this. You take your stick about a third of the way up, like so, and you hold it between your thumb and forefinger, not super tight, just kind of like that, so that there's a little bit of give on it, like so. Your other fingers simply cradle lightly around the stick, and your thumb and forefingers around there. Uh, this gives you a little bit of grip, but also a little bit of give in them. This is how most people who start out play the drums. And that's fine, that's what we're going to go with today. Now, when you come to actually playing the drums, this is assuming you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, there's a whole different way of doing it. I'll cover that in a later video. If you're right-handed, what you do is you lead with your right hand. And by leading, I mean you play either the hi-hat, the ride cymbal, whichever is keeping the beat. You play with your right hand. I'm now going to show you how to play what we call a rock beat, a basic four over four rock beat. And it goes like this. Now, one thing you might notice is that when I actually go to play the beat here, my hands don't cross over. It's my sticks that are crossed over here. A lot of people starting out make the mistake of thinking they have to play like this, which is just detrimental to your whole playing style. Your hands hit together. It's just not good. What you do is if you imagine that the snare drum is almost like a clock face in front of you, directly in front of you, you have 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock there. Ideally, you want your hi-hat to be positioned at about 10 o'clock, half 9, 10 o'clock around there. Your right hand holding the stick should roughly sit at an angle of somewhere between where the 3 and the 5 would be. So anywhere around here. Again, your left hand, same around here, between 7 and 8. So it's almost like a right angle being held at the bottom of the snare drum there, but not quite. You don't have to stick exactly to that again. As long as your arms are down at your side and you're comfortable, that's the best way to do it. So you're holding your sticks like so, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna count one and two and. Simple as that, one and two and. And then when we play that, we're gonna play it in the hi-hat like this. So we're counting one and two and on the hi-hat with your right hand like so. One and two and like so. We'll do that again. One and two and. and. It's all relatively simple up till this point. Next we take the kick drum and you play the kick on the one. Like so. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. See if you're one and two and what I'm gonna get you to try next is forget about the kick drum for a moment. And on the snare, you're going to play the snare on the two, like so. One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and. So up to this point, it's all been relatively straightforward. We've had what's called two-way coordination, either between your right hand and your right foot, or between your right and left hands. But what we're going to do now is we're going to smoosh them all together, which is the technical term. So we're going to have your kick is going to go in the one, snare on the two, your right hand counting one and two and all the way through, keeping the beat, and it's gonna go one and two and one and two and one and two. It's that simple. Before you know it, you're playing a drum beat. And this is a rhythm that, although it's relatively simple, is quite a popular rhythm. You can hear it in songs like, uh, possibly most famously, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Countless other songs, that's just always the one that springs to mind for me. And this encapsulates everything you need to know about drumming. It's got coordination, it's a driving rhythm. So, 
Just follow the instructions I laid out for you there. Give it a shot. And let us know how you get on.